Good morning to anyone who just joined us. We're going to wait another minute or two to get started. There are some documents in the chat that Adina has posted that you can download if you'd like. Okay, it looks like everybody is here and in, so we are going to get started with our AM101 Rapitoni dues billing. So welcome Rapitoni users. Um, this record, just a reminder that this will be recorded and it will be archived. You're probably going to need to go back to it when you're actually doing your own billing. So I will send you the link in a follow-up email. That'll go out to everybody who's registered for this. Um, please remember to keep your microphone muted and you can put all of your questions in the chat because Nicole has a couple of Rapitoni staffers that will help monitor the chat and answer all your questions. Also, Adina posted a few different documents in um, the chat that you can actually download now. And with that, welcome everybody. And I would like to introduce our own Keesman Tramer, who is the billing champion at CAR, and he's going to take the meeting over. Thank you, Peggy. Uh, good morning, everybody. I uh, hope you guys are doing well this morning. Uh, first, I just want to say thank you for joining us this morning. I know you guys are all anxious to get your uh, dues billing out to your members, right? And so we just want to make sure that uh, we provide you with everything you need to get that done in a timely manner. Uh, this training session uh, this morning is designed specifically for those associations that use Rapitoni. Uh, last year's training session uh, was a huge success. And so we decided that uh, we will be conducting uh, this session each year after our fall business meetings. Uh, our goal is really just to make sure uh, that the dues billing process is as smooth and easy as possible for the local associations. And so the best way to do that is, uh, is to provide you with the current dues billing information and to walk you through uh, the process. I know for me, uh, it makes life much easier when someone gives me step-by-step uh, -step instructions, right? And so today uh, we have Nicole from Rapitoni, and she is going to walk you through the process. Uh, now, in order for you uh, to follow along uh, during the training session, we have included uh, the step-by-step -step instructions, which you uh, can find in the chat. And these are the documents that Nicole will be using uh, during the training session. And so by the end of today's training session, uh, you will be in a much favorable position uh, to have your online portals approved by uh, CAR. As you know, the approval process uh, started last week. And so our goal is to make sure that your approval process uh, is successful. Now, for some of you, uh, you may be uh, ready to immediately uh, uh, follow the, uh, the, the train as you're following the training, you'll be immediately ready to get your, your dues billing statements approved. And for those of you that are not ready, at least you'll have everything that you need today to get your dues billing uh, set up in your online portal set up in Rapitoni uh, for a successful approval process. So again, uh, we are recording uh, today's session, and the recording is actually scheduled uh, to go out tomorrow. So expect to see an email from CAR uh, with the recorded version, and also we're going to include the documents that you received today. And so at this time, I am going to yield the mic, and I am going to turn it over to our trainer, Nicole. 
Hello, everybody. Sorry if I'm looking this way or this way. My camera's here, but my monitor's here, so I just wanted to point that out. Um, for those of you that don't know me or haven't met me before, my name is Nicole Alawi. Used to be Harris, got married a couple years ago, so I uh, just wanted to, most people know me by Harris. Um, I've been here with Rapatoni now for over 20 years and uh, in the support department. So I'm sure I've spoken to many of you, if not all of you, <laughs> um, but I wanted to say hello and good morning and thank you for your time on this. Um, and I'm going to just kind of make this training or follow along with the document that has, is for the uh, Disclosures Rapatoni customers. So it's a Word document that has all of the steps on what we're going to be doing today. So you can follow along with me on the screen and read them later, or if you want to have a second screen and you want to open that up, have it off to the side, whatever you like to do. But I will be following those steps in the order in the document itself. So the first item here is the verbiage to place in the contribution disclosure on invoice. Now this is when you click on, I'm sorry, let me go ahead and share my screen. I forgot to do that part of it. Let me go ahead and share. Let's see. Okay, so can you guys see the uh, cloud screen right now? You should be seeing, yes. You should be seeing, thank you. Okay, so the very first one is good pertaining to the annual, so the, the invoice type table. So your invoice type table, you're gonna pick the invoice type that you use. Generally, it's D for membership dues. The first one we're focusing on is this one down here. So let me kind of scroll down here a little bit. Sorry about that. Scroll down here a sec. So down here, this contribution disclosure on invoice. So this is when they click on the hyperlink for the invoice in IMS. And I'm gonna to toggle back and forth between the application and internet member services so you guys can get a visual of what I'm talking about. Now the document has the verbiage that you can literally cut and paste from. Um, I do wanna point out in several locations in this document for the verbiage, there is a section at the bottom here. And let me get my, uh, letting me scroll down here. Okay, so there's a section at the bottom and let me just maybe drag this over here so I can show you. Do you guys see the instructional document or are you still just seeing the application? You, I'm sorry. Yes, Nicole, we can see. Thank you. So in this section, there is a portion here that has the local. Now you're gonna see these brackets and see where it says insert local lobbying percentage and dollar amount. This is something that you'll have to do in this verbiage before you cut and paste. Meaning if, you, if there is a certain percentage for local that is deductible, you'll need to put that percentage here and then the, whatever the dollar amount is here. So see how we have NAR and CAR here? You'll follow that same kind of pattern if you have any local that's deductible. Now, if there isn't any, you just need to put a zero, but you must put a zero. It can't be blank. So you're gonna have to get rid of this where it has the brackets and put in either percentages or zeros. And that's going to be the same throughout the disclosures that we're gonna to cover today. It's in several different places that this information exists. So just make sure before you cut and paste and put into those locations that you update that. That was very important. Okay, let me drag this back over here. So you will do that, in, you will do your percentages, you'll copy the information, and then what I would like you to do is when you come here to this location, you're going to need to make sure that you click in this field, and when you click in it once, it does highlight everything. Go ahead and press delete. I want you to delete the whole thing that was there last year, because this year uh, there, there has been some updates to it. Every year they meet and the verbiage could slightly change. So we wanna make sure that you have the most up-to-date information. And by deleting what you have in here first, then copying from the document and literally just pasting in here, that's the best way to do it. Okay. Now the second item that you'll be looking at is the verbiage to place in the contribution disclosure on HTML. Now that is going to be this one right here. Now this ends up showing up on the, on the screen when, they, when they're choosing to pay their invoice, they check the box to pay. And you know, as a matter of fact, let me 
as I said, I was going to toggle to IMS. And thank you, Sarita, for if you're here. <laughs> thank you again, once again, for letting me use your account to demonstrate this. Um, so when they go to pay their dues, right, they're going to log into Internet Member Services and they're going to click their pay now. When the, the very first um, item that we were looking at, that, that's, the, that's the location on that first document where, they're, where you're going to copy and paste the information and put it into that first box after you've modified your local dues section. That is what they would see when they click this hyperlink here, when they click this. When they click this, it's going to bring up a, a copy of what they're going to see in their email. So they're going to see all their charge codes. And then as I scroll down, here is that verbiage that they're going to see below. Okay, and I need to update hers, but this is what you're, this, this, this is what you would see here and that's not going to work. That's why we need to make sure that we put in either a zero or whatever those uh, contribution percentages and dollar amounts are. Um, and then, so I will get that updated before she is approved. But as you can see, that's how they're going to see that information here. I'm going to go back to the previous screen and I'm going to toggle back to cloud. So this section here, this contribution disclosure on HTM, again, in the document, you're going to have that verbiage as well. And it's also going to have that same area where you're going to need to update the local portion or leave it as a zero, whatever works. You're going to copy. And again, the same thing, you will click into this field and you can immediately press delete. So once you've modified the information for this section, then you're going to go ahead and copy that information and paste it into here. And where they're going to see this is when they check the box to pay now and they choose their payment options. And I scroll down, that's where this exists. Okay, so they have to see the disclosure here when they're going to this section. The next section is going to be for the, when, they, when they, they click on the PDF icon, and so let me go back, just go back to that section. So here we have a PDF icon, right? I'm gonna toggle back to Magic really quick. And right here, this is a file that will be, it should be uh, in the chat with all the documents to download. This file here needs to be, in the web's documents folder. So for your association, you would navigate to that folder. I already have it open for Sarita's, for Merced. This is the folder that it needs to go into. Now, if you have a newer file transfer system, this may look a little different, um, but the, the goal is to get to the web's, IMS web's documents folder. So with that, file, you're going to place that file in here. So see, we have it right here. Okay. Then with that file here and the exact same name of the file right here, we go back to IMS and we click on this PDF icon. I'm going to print it as a PDF when it comes up. Here's your invoice. And here's the disclosure. So again, uh, it all goes back to this section here, making sure that we update this before we copy and paste, because that will be rejected if there isn't at least a zero. But as we scroll through, so you can see this is the information that's on the PDF icon of the invoice. This is for agents to print out themselves. If they want to have a copy of it themselves, that's what that's for. And I, I had also had, I copied the information and have it in the document so that you can see it there as well. Um, but the, the file itself will be the one that you're going to have in that section. Okay, let me go ahead. And there are some standardizations to the naming of your charge codes. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and open that file again that we had that has the, or the PDF icon here. 
that's going to show the standard naming convention here. And this is in the document as well. So if you have uh, whatever charge codes you have set up, this is the standard that was kind of decided upon in this document. So they changed it from like saying anything saying dues to allocation. So I know that there may be some people that if you've already created your dues, your or your charge codes, excuse me, um, we may need to just modify, since you haven't created the invoices yet, hopefully, <laughs> um, you will need to just modify the names. So you'll, you'll kind of use the same naming convention here to make it a little more consistent. Okay. So the next section in here would be for the message that we're going to use when you're doing your print statements and invoices. So when you're, you're creating your dues invoices, you're going to also then use the print statements and invoices program. So in this instance, I've already created the invoice for, for this example. So I'm gonna go directly to the print statements and invoices program. This is the interim step from having the invoices created to getting them into a batch if you do email billing or even if you print them, either way. You created the invoices, now you run this step to get them into a file either to email or print. So I'm going to go ahead and okay and so we're going to go to the setup for whichever one that we're using so in this case when I zoom we have a due annual dues invoice so whichever one you use when you are creating your invoices to either email or print you're going to choose that one and then zoom one more time that's going to take you to the setup of this and we're going to go to the messages tab so this information that you have on the document, you would have whatever you wanna have on that top line, right? You can have whatever, in this instance, it's just a, there's X's and then it says membership dues. So if you wanna have some sort of like a one-liner sentence at the top, in this case, we have this one-liner sentence, right? And then below that is all of the information, again, that you're going to post into this, uh, this message tab here. And I'll keep, sorry, and I'll keep reiterating uh, the local portion, making sure that you guys put something or a zero, because that would be, uh, that will not be accepted if it's, if there's nothing. So again, this example, I don't have a zero, I'm gonna need to find out about that first and then update all of that. But make sure for you guys that you have something in there before you copy and paste. So the good idea to do this would probably be to, uh, you know, for each one of these, go through the, go through your particular document and just update that local portion in each one of these disclosures in the document before you go and copy and paste it into cloud. Or you could do it one at a time if you like, but that way you have it all kind of across the board. Okay. Nicole, and this is, yes. We have a couple of questions in the chat that are unanswered. Is your staff attending to that? Uh, they should be. Hey, there's two in there. Okay. Okay, thanks. Sure, no problem. Okay, so let me go ahead and come back here. So where they're going to see this is when they, when they, when you print the invoice, right? So when they get the invoice, their actual invoice, that the, a copy of their invoice that they get when they get an email, or if you print it out and mail it, it's the same thing. That's where this message is gonna come from. And I can show you that here in a sec. So let me go to, if I do, let me just, I'll just print this to PDF. Okay. Okay, so there's one PDF to look at. So we're set up for email billing. So now I'm gonna go to the email. And I did this yesterday. So I have a, a batch actually down here that has all the, the stuff in it. But if we wanna look at the PDF, I'm gonna click on view PDF and there's where that message comes from. So when they print the invoice or when they look at the invoice from their email billing, this is what they're gonna see. So that's got all of that verbiage on here as well. So this is, you know, this, it, we're just trying to make sure that this verbiage is in like literally every single spot that it has to be. Okay, so that's where that's gonna come from. Okay. 
And then the last portion of this to make sure, and these are also files that you should have uh, been given to download, is where we need to place the documentation or the verbiage for the portion where they can contribute to HAF or RAF, right? There's a modify link when they go to do this, this uh, when they go to pay and if they want to contribute or if they want to change the amount, zero it out, whatever they want to do. So again, with these documents, they would need to go into that folder, this IMS web documents folder. Okay. So the, the files that were sent to you will have the words IMS contribution underscore benefits and will say HAF and one will say RAF. So what you're gonna to need to do with those files is you're going to need to highlight the letters HAF or RAF. Each one of those are gonna be separate. They're gonna be separate charge codes. You're going to highlight that, those letters and replace it with the number of your charge code. So whatever your charge code number is for those contributions in your system, that's what you replace it with, okay? So once you've done that, I would do that prior, you know, have the file, just modify the last, the, the, the letters into the charge code number, and then you can copy it and paste it into the IMS web's documents folder. Once you have that information here, and if we go back to internet member services, so at this stage, if we wanna go ahead and check the pay now button, and then our choose payment options, Right here is the modify links I was speaking of. So if we click on modify on any of these, it's gonna come up with the notes, the, 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 um, the information here for this particular charge code. So in this instance, this is the RAF. So you have see it's the Realtor Action Fund. So this disclosure um, is just another way of letting them know what it is about, um, et cetera. So making sure that you have the right one in here. And then we can click OK. And then again, in the modify here on the HAF. And then we have the message relating to HAF. Right, so this is where they could modify those amounts if they, if they choose. Um, also in this documentation, there's gonna be some verbiage there. There may be some that if for your minimum, you may have the, I believe it's the 148. If you have the 148, um, then that, that's what you're gonna see here. In this instance, we have the 49. Um, so you will, that may be the only difference is that you may see 148 here instead of uh, 49. But you can see that it's, it's kind of, it's listed in here, I believe. So for here, the suggested amount is 49, but if there's, if you have the recommended amount being higher, again, that's what you're gonna see. Okay. And I mean, I know that this is a lot of information, um, but that is, those are all the points to cover for where all of these disclosures need to be. Um, if you guys want to open this up, you know, Kiesman, if you want to let people answer questions, if their questions haven't been answered yet in the chat, I'm happy to answer any questions that anybody has. Perfect. Thank you, Nicole. Uh, I'm just checking the, the chat now to see if there are any additional uh, questions that are coming through. It looks like uh, so far the questions have been answered uh, in the chat. Uh, one of the things that uh, I did want to mention, um, when it comes to the, uh, the lobbying percentages, uh, I know you mentioned that the association should also make sure that they put zero for the local portion if they don't have any uh, lobbying percentages. But the other important thing to remember is that they also need to, if, if they don't have any lobbying percentages, then for the total at the bottom, they also need to make sure that they add up both uh, CAR and NAR so that there is a total there. That's correct. So let me go to what he's, where he's speaking of. So right, right here. So yes. again, the, you know, your percentage would be zero and then this is correct. So um, it, this, for this one right here, so adding it all up here, so insert yep. total dollar amounts, adding NAR, CAR, and local. So you'll see that in here. So for each of these, just make sure that you put in whatever it says in the brackets is what you're going to need to kind of do. So it's an action on your side that you'll need to do. Yep, um, yep. that's a good point. <laughs>
Um, in addition, you know, of course, if there are any questions, you guys, when you go to do this, after you've watched the video, um, and you still need assistance, we here at in support are here for you. Uh, you can email me directly if you like, and I can assist you with any questions that you have. Um, my email address, the, probably the best one to get a hold of me is n a l a o u i at rapatoni.com, and I'll post that in the chat as well. Just to let you guys know, um, I'm here for you. If I am not available, I will make sure that one of my staff can answer any questions that you guys have. Um, and we'll, you know, you're going to have all of the updated documentation, so that should be uh, good to go. And I think, like Kiesman said last year, I think it was a really big su success. Just kind of walking through this and making sure that all of the the documents that we have and all of the uh, the files that we have are in the same place. We're all kind of getting together at the same time and having this recorded. I think all of it together has really made a big difference. Um, but I know myself, I, <clears throat> I tend to not have questions until I actually start doing it. So if you do, that's why I'm saying you can email me. If I'm not available, I will make sure um, one of the staff gets back to you right away so that we can get you guys approved and, and get this going for you. Yep. Nicole, so I, I did see a question from, from Robin. Uh, and the question is, can we add the disclosures anywhere so that it prints on invoices if they are printed from the member's profile? From the member's profile, if they're talking about from the member's profile here in Internet Member Services? Is that the question? You know, they wasn't that specific. Uh, okay. Okay. Because yes, that's, it's a yes here if she means from their member record. Oh, she said no from magic. Okay, let me go ahead and open that. Because here, if we print the invoice, let me go ahead and bring this up. It should redirect it for me. Oh, printed it over here. Right, so the one, the this one that prints from the actual record itself, um, that does not have, it's a different, I know it's, it's hard to explain, but it's a kind of a different program. It doesn't include it on there. Your best practice would be to reprint it from the email statements and invoices program. So if you go to the, you can print it as a PDF to the email from the email um, statements and invoices program. You can look somebody up if, by their member number, but this would be the best way if you need to print it for them or they can print it themselves. If they print it themselves from their record on, in, on Internet Member Services, it also prints the disclosure from there as well. So if you come here to the email statements and invoices and you click on view PDF, you can actually print it from, you can print it from here. My, my, my apologies. Okay. You'll be able to print it from here. All right, so it looks like that answered her question. Mm -hmm. I think that was right the only question that I see so far. Um, Eastman, Evelyn has her hand raised. Oh, go for it. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Nicole, is yeah. there any way that the front page of the IMS uh, could look different as far as um, it's the screen before this one? Because mm -hmm. one of the things that we run into, so the members click the pay now, mm -hmm. and then it goes to um, where it shows that total amount which includes the voluntary. Mm -hmm. And we get a lot of calls where the members don't wanna pay the additional fee, but they feel like if they say pay now, they're paying that full amount, even though we always have to tell them the next page will allow you to modify. Is there any way that this page could be changed so that they know that when they click pay now that they're not paying the 578 that they still yeah. have another option yeah absolutely there's it's a setting in cloud so this is this setting they have it set up this way so that it shows everything but right. if we change the setting in cloud to say don't show or don't include the rpac amount in this total or even here in the pay now widget like you can because the total amount of the invoice is 519 in this case but we have it set up so that it shows it here to show the rpac and also here, but both of those locations can be changed to show just the regular amount. I don't know if that was something that CAR wanted in place, um, that Kiesman maybe can answer that, um, 
but I do know that it is possible for you to not show it. So will it show up on the next page though, the, the voluntary contributions? Yes, of course, it always oh. does. Oh, yes. okay. this, so this here, see how that's 519 for the invoice and here's the extra. It's okay. just, yeah. So those other two locations can absolutely just say 519, but when they get here, this they'll be presented with the- uh, I gotcha, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, you know, and, and that is a, a, a CAR and NAR rule. Um, and, and so they are requiring the associations to include the RAF, uh, NHAF at the beginning. And they, they want the members to opt out uh, of the-, uh, the Okay, so that's part of a, above the line then is what you're saying, even when showing yes. on here. Yep, okay. absolutely. I thought it was just on the printed out invoice. I didn't know that it couldn't show differently when they go to pay. So I understand. Okay. Yeah. All righty then. Thank you. Of course. Of course. Evan's asking in the chat if you can please show them how to do that. Absolutely. Well, there it's I, they would actually have to call us because it's a setting in what we call RAP Tony Fields, and that is a RAP staff only item. So if they're interested in making, well, first of all, I guess you have to have it set up this way. So if it isn't set up that way and all you're seeing is the dues invoice amount, then yes, we need to get into your system and change those settings for you. So it does show your the full amount total here. So they can just give Rap Tony call. They can send an email. A ticket will be created, whichever they would like to, however they would like to get a hold of us. But we would need to log into your system and make that change. Perfect. Yeah. I don't see any other questions. Do you see any hands up, Peggy? I do not. Evelyn's is still up, but I think it's just because she didn't put it down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, that's it. <laughs> well, if you guys have any additional questions, we'll, we'll give you a, a, another minute because we, we have Nicole on here who, who was our expert. And so we want to make sure that we get your questions answered today. Absolutely. And again, if they don't, if they think of something after the fact, you know, um, I will put my email address. I can do that right now, actually. I'll put my email address in the chat here so everybody can send me an email. I'm really good about putting my out of office assistant on if I'm not here, but I, I mean, let's be honest, we all check our email when we're not in the office anyway. So if I get something, um, I probably will check it and I'll see it and I'll make sure somebody gets back to you. Perfect. Thank you, Nicole. Of course. So I don't see uh, any additional questions. I don't see any hands up. And so uh, we are going to go ahead and, and conclude. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for attending uh, this meeting today. Thank you, Peggy, for these AM 101s. I think they are excellent. excellent. Uh, also, we are going to be sending out the recorded version of this training session tomorrow. We're also going to include all of the documents uh, that was included uh, in the chat today. So you'll have everything that you need uh, to make sure that you get your systems uh, set up uh, today. Uh, and also, if you have any uh, questions for, for me, um, you can always reach out to me. And also, I didn't get a chance. I, I think everyone was on the meeting last week. Uh, we do have a new membership person uh, at CAR that is working with me now. His name is Nick Castle. And so he can also assist you uh, as well. Uh, if you need to get a hold of him, you can also reach him at Nick c at car.org uh, he's an amazing guy he's doing great work and so we're both here to to serve you so with that said we are going to go ahead and close and i hope you guys have a wonderful day and if you guys need us we are here for you have a great day thank you bye everybody thanks everybody and thanks nicole and keesman